Right, hello. This is my bungee setup that um, you've asked to see. So it's very simple, like everything I do. So, 8mm bungee cord, which is bought from a DIY shop in 6 meter lengths. It's very cheap. Um, I use these large tent pegs from the same DIY shop. I've got a pair of them just driven into the ground here. I also bought one of these rings from the same DIY shop and just took the bungee round it and put two cable ties there which do secure it very well. So, following this up, the first six metres brings us to, there is the join, there's a join here, and this join is joined again with cable ties, and it holds it very well. So, on to the second six metre length obviously is longer than that when it's stretched out. And on the other end here I've just got another one of these rings and secured again by cable ties. And I've put this badminton shuttlecock on here to, it seems to act as a bit of a drogue so it prevents or helps prevent from this bit of line from um, catching up with the plane quite so much, although even without it, it didn't hit the plane in any of my launches. And then, just back here, I've attached the actual tow rope or tow hook. I've got a fishing swivel on here to a cable tie, a bit of cord, and a, uh, a rubber o-ring which gives it a little bit of shock um, resistance. And here's the dolphin. I 3D printed this hook, which is on Thingiverse, so you can easily get one printed. This was the same sort of thing. It has a screw which screws through from the back, which makes the actual hook very rigid. You can see the screw goes through here and it was a bit of guesswork really as to where to put the hook but I was told that it was, um, wants to be fairly far forward and it works out perfectly here because it uh, comes through, I've had it, got it coming through where the strap is so the four screws that secure the hook are coming through to the plywood and again, like I say, I've launched it quite a few times now and there's no signs of any stress or strain or anything. And neither are there any marks on the underneath of the plane from running up and down this ramp. Although I have um, got this vinyl wrapped, but even so, it's, it still works okay. So you just bung the bungee hook on under here. And then put the plane on there with a, a wee bit of tension on the cord. And then the release mechanism, you just pull the, pull the pin out, stand on it, and off it goes. I'm not going to do it today because it's actually blowing quite a bad um, wind from behind the house. So it's not a flying day. But... I will just um, unhook it and get rid of it anyway. So just pull a pin out and launch. And that's it, off she goes. The release mechanism is just a copy of the one you can buy from Hobby King. I didn't uh, size it, I just guessed the sizes. There's just a bit of exterior ply, a little triangular fillet put in there, a 6mm bolt going right the way through to the other side, a couple of lock nuts. Again, it's staked down with the same tent pegs 
and I've just got a, a bolt coming up from underneath, I've drilled a hole through it and you can secure it with that pin, there's a safety mechanism. So that's that. Now the ramp, I've just codged up out of this aluminium channeling which was left over from my house build. You could use anything really. They're just two separate two separate components pinned down to the floor or to the ground again with those clips. And all I've done is just drill through the side of this pipe and secured it to the metal frame with the old favourite cable ties again. Um, I set the width to what I felt was suitable for the dolphin. There's no accuracy in this at all, it's all a bit on the uh, skew, um, which is me all over. I bashed it with the lawnmower yesterday. Um, I can't tell you what angle that is, I just guessed. I don't think it's that critical to be honest. I guess it's probably around about 20 degrees, 25 degrees maybe, but I'm no good at guessing that sort of thing. Um, and it's about, what would it, I should say it's probably about 1.5 metres long, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that long. I don't think there's any uh, real critical angles. Um, I think that's probably about it. And then I've just got one of these cheap plastic Again, from DIY shop, um, cable holders. So I just, when I'm finished, just wrap the whole thing up and leave it out side permanently. So it's just. Now, and I can just push the flat off the ground and I leave it under there as a permanent fixture because this is where I fly from all the time, really. And the problem was, I didn't want to launch over my neighbour's properties um, because probably one out of every five houses would result in a disaster. So now I can launch towards the ground and it just glides away absolutely beautifully as you may have seen from the vids. So that's it. If you wanted a 3D print of that hook and you can't get one anywhere, I'll do you one and just post it out to you. Assuming you're not uh, the other side of the world. Over and out.